you've got a gallery here and you can sort a result set just by calling the function sort. That's the first parameter, just sort of like filter was. You have the first parameter, which is the data source. Second parameter would be the column name that you want to sort on. So that could be, well, let's go over here and look at the, the, the data stuff here. So full name, let's sort on full name. So you can do that. And whenever you change that, it takes a second or two for it to actually show up, just to let you know that. Let's look at what they have here. So in the previous lesson, we covered filter, or th that was the, the lesson 14 within this template, was filtering. So I wanted to show you the sort because that's the new concept on this lesson. We could go in here and you could nest these functions over and over and over again. Just like the, the previous lesson, we're going to filter, but instead of trying to filter down to just the Canadians, we're going to filter on contacts within the USA. Okay. Country equals USA. It's filtering and then it's sorting. So it actually processes things from the most internal and then it calls the functions as it goes out, if that makes sense. So looking at this example, it's going to filter. It's going to take that and then pass that into sort. And then it's going to return that result set to this gallery and display it. All right, so now modify the items property again to sort the output filter by city. So instead of full name, let's, okay, city, not by full name. So we're actually going to sort by this city. Now there's an optional third parameter for sort. The default is ascending, so a lot of times people don't include that. But if you wanted to sort descendingly, you would actually be sure that you included it. Okay, so that's step number two. As you edit the formula, the assignment of labels and fields might get lost. Yeah, so if you're modifying this, you're going to see all kinds of errors inside the gallery, just to let you know. That's, that's very common. Did you know this is a part of a 20-part series which goes over all the basics of Power Apps? Are you feeling overwhelmed with Power Apps? Do you feel there's just so much to learn and you don't know where to start? Lucky for you, Darren has the solution. Discover how you can get dense six months of Power Up struggles in just 90 minutes. Click on the link below to learn more about Darren's Power Apps Deep Dive Masterclass.